What's going on, everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it, and we had our first trade night. Let's go! All right, so last Saturday, we had a trade night at the card shop. It was our first great turnout. I'm going to take you guys there right now, show off some of the cards. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you every single card that these people are bringing in, uh, but I showed you some of the cards, and then I'll bring you back and show you what I got in trade. Okay, let's take a look at the trade pile. So a lot of good stuff was traded. I was trading stuff that I had in the last couple of shows. I just haven't put my PC. But we ended up getting some pretty nice stuff. And I'm glad people had fun. There's a lot of deals that happened at the shop, which is nice. And if we get more people showing up and it stays popular, maybe we can do it you know, a couple times a year. I have nothing no problem, with, uh, no problem with that. That'd be kind of cool. But let's just see what I got. So this whole stack was in a big trade for a lot. Um, some smaller stuff, but still some stuff I could bring to school and trade some kids. So we have a Jordan Addison, Rooks and Stars rookie. That was cool. Took a shot on this Joshua Downs, or Josh Downs, from Prestige rookie card. Playing with the Colts. It is his parallel. I think it's like a, some type of like sunshine parallel. But that was a cool one. We have a Devon Achan from Rookies and Stars 2. Those are all his tossings at the end just to get the deal. We have a Marquise Brown, numbered out of 199, new team, so maybe this goes up. I have the, who do I have? Do I have DK Metcalf? I have the DK Metcalf of this one, I believe. But, out of 199, that was sweet. Wondell Robinson out of 75. Giants had to pick him up, why not? At trade night, I am a lot less picky for what I really want. Uh, if it was a card show, then I'm willing to deal and I'm willing to walk away. But, there are some kids who come in um, and... Trade night just is a fun th time to get together with people in the hobby and talk and trade and get some cool stuff. So I'm not too picky. I'll pick up pretty much anything that uh, catches my interest. 
like this one right here, Boba Chet, absolute rookie card. I know it's uh, not a licensed company. It's from it's from Panini. They don't have the licensing, well, especially in 2020. But rookie patch, dual patch, pretty cool. This is a sweet one, probably one of my favorites for the night. We have a Christian McCaffrey rookie card from SGC. This was definitely the big one. Um, not a lot of comps on it. The one out of P what was it PSA nine did like seventy bucks, um, so not really sure, but that was a cool one from two thousand and seventeen illusions. This is an insert, but that was a really cool one, especially graded. I usually don't get graded cards, but this was one of the nicer ones that we picked up at trade night. It's acetate, so you can put your hand in the back and see it. So that's really nice. That all came from one deal, and I'm not gonna say anyone's names. Uh, they're definitely in the videos, but I really appreciate everyone who made deals with me that night. We had some guys from Horseheads, a father and son who were nice. Um, you know, people who liked the Eagles were there. Uh, guys who liked the Raiders from Elmira was there. So not going to use any names, but a lot of good guys, and hopefully they got some good deals too. This came from another deal. It was a two-card trade. I think I traded a Zach Ertz auto and a Jalen Carter patch for these two. We have a Cole Swider. From Syracuse, really cool. I don't know where he's at or if he's still in the NBA or probably on a G League, but Cole Swider played for Syracuse, and I'm just a sucker for Syracuse, so I had to pick him up. I think he was on the Lakers last time I checked, but I ended up picking him up. And this is a cool one. The Dominican Sue rookie patch. A little uh, controversy with this player. You know, dirty player or not, he was a great defensive player out of 499. Nice patch. Yeah, he was a machine on defense at D tackle. Really good. Really good player. He just had some scrutiny for you know being a little dirty, but still, good player. Future Hall of Famer? I don't know. But still, solid. And this was the last deal. So not a lot of trades that happen. Hopefully the bigger this trade night gets, we get more people coming. I think we had about five people total. So if we get that to ten, maybe ten, twelve. A lot more trades will be happening. Uh, but this is a cool stack. So I ended up paying 45 because I do do cash too because sometimes someone you're not looking for is not looking for somebody you have. Uh, but I did cash and I did trade a Dirk Nowitzki for this stack. So we had a CJ Stroud. That's a nice one. Sweaters. I count that about 12 bucks, I think. But really cool. And it came in a nice case, so that's nice. This is one of the cool ones too. Puka Nakua Green Parallel from Prism. Really like that. I have the base, did not have the green parallel. I cashed that probably like 19 bucks, 20 bucks comping at. So I like that one a lot too. And this is probably one of my favorites because I am a defensive guy. We have a Roquan Smith Rookie of the Year contenders from Optic on card auto. About $20 too, I would say. Uh, I do have a Roquan Smith auto, but it's Leaf. This is his nice one in his Bears rookie uniform. But very nice there. And that was the stack. That was my stuff I picked up at trade night. There was other guys there had more high-end stuff. I think there was a Tom Brady that you saw in the video that was really nice. Uh, Josh Allen stuff, too. Um, but couldn't work out a trade there. But there there was other trades made. So just nice to see people in the hobby and get some cool cards without spending all their money. Trading. I heard once from a shop owner that trading is the most precise way to get a value on a card. Because you can speculate and, you know, how Pay 80% of comps, but if you're trading, at, that's where you really get true value. But really fun, and I can't wait if we do it again. We probably will eventually, but it was just a good time. Really fun. But that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This was an AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.